Well, this is the video that has sparked a criminal investigation into gangs in the city of Forsyth. Now, that videotape beatdown was posted online by some kid trying to brag. But he may have just bragged himself and his friends into a jail cell. Please tell Fox 5 uh, they will use that video to shut down dangerous gang activity in their normally quiet town. Fox 5's Chris Shaw live in Forsyth County tonight with details of this uh, investigation. Chris? An investigation that is just beginning, Lisa. You know, these kids may not look the part, but investigators here at the Monroe County Sheriff's Office want to make something very clear. They are taking this crime and this investigation very seriously. It's the disturbing video that has people in this small community shaking their heads. I don't think it was right. Cell phone video that's now a part of police evidence showing a group of five to ten teenagers relentlessly beating another teen while he tries to shield himself on the ground. So now they're in trouble. It's a whole big mess, but it's a bunch of children. Monroe County Sheriff's investigators believe it was a gang beating because the victim told him it was. He said he wanted to get out of the high society white boys gang and this beating was the price he paid to get out. 17 year old Samuel Hamrick and Kenneth Faulkner were arrested, as were three other juveniles who investigators say were part of this beating. Two nights after this, 17 year old Caleb Green and Marty Harris were arrested in what investigators say was a retaliation fight. 19 year old Spencer Barrett and Devin Williams were also arrested in that second fight, which included a group who call themselves the Dirty White Boys. We take any reports of gang or gang violence, gang crime very, very seriously, and we are continuing our investigation into this. But was this really a gang crime, or was what happened on this rural road in middle Georgia an example of children playing gangs? Yeah. Kind of hard to see it. I think I did. On YouTube. Residents we spoke with lament the culture where young people do stupid, oftentimes violent things, then post it online. They think they're hot stuff, they're not going to get caught doing stuff, and it's okay. They have their whole life ahead of them. That's not what they want to do, you know? Trouble is easy to get in, but it's hard to get out of. Especially this trouble. Some of the teens face aggravated assault and criminal gang activity charges. What they don't realize is they're providing law enforcement with great evidence. It's certainly a great tool to help us in our investigation and, and to identify people who participated in this activity. Now the bottom line here is police say that initial beating was serious enough that they are opening up a larger investigation trying to figure out if these so-called gangs committed other crimes before. Reporting live in Monroe County, Chris Shaw, Fox 5 News. All right, Chris, thanks. Speaking of so-called